Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Sturge here and we're back on Tunnel 9 and today we're going to be doing the finale for the Tunnel 9 free to play series. At the moment we have four of the five builders available and we still have the queen which is still upgrading from the last episode. And this video is going to be pretty similar to that last one where we show off the progress on this account over the span of around a week. So let's start off here with the first day. We need to get more Dark Elixir to obviously upgrade and max out the Archer Queen. So we're going to head out and do a couple of attacks using the Mass Baby Dragon attack strategy which I'll I'll actually have a link to in the description below the video if you want to use this army it is just baby dragons and lightning spells you don't really need a link to copy it you can just copy it from the screen at the moment but starting with the first attack here we're going to go up against this tunnel 9 with 4600 dark elixir and luckily this base had all the dark elixir together on the right side of the base so i didn't have to use all my baby dragons and the lightning spells on this base which made an easy time getting all of the loot and then off the raid by getting a 50 percent so we can get the star bonus for even more dark elixir and gold. And heading on to the second attack, it was a better upgraded Town Hall 9 with another 4,000 Dark Elixir. And I was trying to do an actual attack using the entirety of my army by heading into the core of the base to try to take down the Dark Elixir storage. But during the attack, I changed my mind of making the effort to head into the core of the base. So I ended off the raid once I got to 50% and I got 2,300 Dark Elixir from the second attack. But the final raid is actually a very, very good one. The better ones I've seen in a very long time. It is against this Rush Town Hall 10 with over 8,000 Dark Elixir, which means it is the most I've seen in a very long time. It was actually a good thing that I had my full army, including the Clan Castle and my King for this one, as I decided to go for the 3 star against this Tunnel 10. Two of the air defenses were close together, so I took them down using the lightning spells and took one more towards the top of the base. I then made a circle around the base using the Baby Dragons and used the Electric Dragon on the right side to help out take down the Dark Elixir storage over there. Getting closer to the 3 star, we were able to get all of the dark elixir on the base and only had a few defenses left to take down before getting the three star on this rush tunnel 10. Towards the end of the raid there were a few boulder huts on the corners of the base so the electric dragon and the remaining baby dragons left on the base had to fly around and take them out but they eventually were able to take down the corner boulder huts and get the three star with 50 seconds left to spare on the attack. Coming back to the base, it's time to do the upgrades for the day. I start off by gemming the rest of the time for the queen upgrade so we can then use the builder for another upgrade. I then use three research potions on the lab so we can finish the earthquake spell and so I can finish the final upgrade inside of the lab. The first upgrade of the day though is on the bomb tower for 2.5 million gold, which I then use a book of builder to immediately finish it. After that, I upgrade one of the two air sweepers to level four and the other one to max level at level five and we still have three builders still available to use and I actually upgrade one of the two mortars to max level before running out of gold and actually having zero on the base so I head over to the clan castle to collect the treasury to upgrade the other mortar to max level as well. That means I left the final builder to upgrade the Archer Queen to go to level 29, and that is one more level before she is maxed out at Town Hall 9, which is pretty cool. And that was the end of the first day, but heading on to the second day here, we're gonna start off with a couple more attacks. The first one was against a dead Town Hall 9 with around 6,000 Dark Elixir, pretty close to the Rush Channel 10 that we saw earlier in the video. This attack starts off by dropping the lightning spells on the air defenses as usual, and making a ring around the base using the mass baby dragons. I didn't have to use all my troops for this one though, which is pretty good because it was a dead base, but I used both of my heroes at the top of the base to try to take out the dark elixir storage by heading through the wall over to the Dark Elixir store to take it down for around 2,000 Dark Elixir. And the second and final attack is against a completely maxed Tunnel 9 besides the heroes. For this one, all the Dark Elixir was on the outside inside of the drills, which was pretty good. So we were able to get all of the Dark Elixir for this final attack of the day here as well. And I only had three lightning spells on this attack to work with. So I decided to use it on one of the Dark Elixir drills. And then I spammed in the rest of the baby dragons to get the 50% and all of the dark elixir on this tunnel 9. I then came back a few hours later to see both of the air sweepers have finished their upgrades to level 4 and 5. So it was time to do some more of those upgrades to max out this tunnel 9. The first one of the day is actually inside of the laboratory that actually only has one more upgrade left which is the witch 
for 50,000 Dark Elixir. I then spend 6 million gold on two of the last mortars and the final air sweeper, which means the final upgrade of the Town 9 Let's Play is the Archer Queen to go to level 30 for 65,000 Dark Elixir. And there we go. Oh, oh, I must have gotten a little ahead of myself with these upgrades, but we only have five builders. Anyways, coming back a day or two later, the last two other mortars have finished their upgrades, which means it actually is time to finish the Archer Queen upgrade to max level 4 Tunnel 9. And after that upgrade, the Tunnel 9 is now completely maxed out, which has been a long time coming since I started this series back in June. But after taking multiple breaks from this account, the base is now fully maxed for Tunnel 9. Here's a quick look at the base in its max form before we head out for today's video. And here's a look at what the base looked like back at the beginning of the Tunnel 9 Let's Play back in June of this year. In my opinion, Tunnel 9 is one of the best looking bases when it is maxed out, other than Tunnel 10, which is actually my favorite. I have plans on doing another Tunnel 9 Terry Push series soon here on the channel, as the last one I did is coming up to becoming one year old. So I think it's time to bring back that series as a bunch of you guys are new to the channel. So I want to go and Terry Push up to Legend League using my Tunnel 9. But I'm still deciding whether I want to do this Tunnel 9 Terry Push series or do the Rush That Base series up to Legend League. I have a poll on my channel in the next few days, so make sure to be on the lookout for that. Also, if you're coming up to becoming a max Tunnel 9 and are thinking of upgrading your Town Hall up to Tunnel 10, then make sure to go check out my Tunnel 10 Let's Play series I did a while back on the channel. And during that series, I talk about what to prioritize more when it comes to the upgrades, and I go over a bunch of different attack strategies like Mass Miners for massive amounts of gold and elixir, or Giants and Wizards for more strategic armies for more Dark Elixir that can be used for farming as a new or developed Tunnel 10. So if you're interested in checking out the Tunnel 10 Let's Play series, I'll have a link to the playlist in the description of the video in case you are interested in that series. But that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and the series, and if you did want to see some more Tunnel 9 or any Clash of Clans related content on my channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.